Hello, my math friends. Um, so today we were given a booklet about how to complete a cubic and reciprocal graphs, or they want us to do that. And um, I thought I'd just do a little video to show you in case you um, weren't sure. So question two says y equals one over x. That is also, in case you see it differently, it's the same thing as y equals x to the negative one. These are equal. Just in case you've seen it this way and you're not sure, that's what it looks, that's the same. Okay, these are the same. Um, before we go any further, let's look and see what does our new type of graphs look like? Because we've done line graphs, we've done parabola graphs, so let's have a look and see what do they look like. So we're gonna scoop over to the Desmos calculator um, graphing calculator and I typed in x equals 1 over x and this is what it looks like you can see here um, that's what it looks like okay good doesn't look like a parabola looks like if you do chemistry and things looks like um, like an exponential graph which is exactly what it is so let's come back and let's figure it out we have here some values for x and we're gonna plug them in and see what y is um, because we want to know what is y. Start with a bigger number. It's going to make your life easier until just so you understand it. So when x is equal to 4, y, remember, is equal to 1 over x, which equals 1 over 4. Now we have decimals here, so we know we're going to convert this to a decimal, so it's going to be 0.25. Let's do the next one. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 half. Easy peasy, right? We know that. All righty, let's keep going. When x is equal to 1, we know that, sorry, my pen's not working. y is equal to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. Now, if you don't feel comfortable um, dividing decimals, that's okay. That's why you have a calculator. If x is 0.8, y is equal to 1 over uh, 0.8, which is equal to, jump to your scientific calculator, and, sorry, clear. So you say 1 divided by 0.8. 1.25. So I come back here and I know it's 1.25. 1 1.25. You can start to see a pattern happening here. As our x is getting smaller, our y is getting bigger. So what happens if x is equal to 0. 0.4? y is equal to 1 over 0. 0.4. Again, jump to your calculator. We can say 1 divided by 0. 0.4, 2.5. You could do this manually too if you feel confident, but if you don't feel confident, don't worry about it. What was it? 2.5. <laughs> I've forgotten. Um, and now we have when x is 0. 0.2, y is equal to 1 over 0.2, which is actually 5. Um, so there we go. We have our x value. We have our y value. And now, ooh, because that's straight, let me try this again. I don't have a really nice graph here made. You're going to graph it. Let's say every two lines is a one. I've made this rather small. Here we go. So I'm gonna change colors so we can see it better. When X is four, y is 0.25, so it's really close to my line. When x is 2, y is 0.5. You can see here I'm halfway to 1. 
When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 0.8, y is 2.5. So now we're here. When x is 0.4, so a little less than half, y is, oops, did I do that wrong? 0.8 would be 1, oh, sorry, 1.25, forgive me, 0.8 would be 1.25. And when x is 0.4, y is 2.5. My apologies. And when x is 0.2, y is 5. So you can see here, I'm not even going to try to draw this together. I'll be a mess. Boo, doo, doo. I guess I am going to try. Oops, oops, oops. Here we go. Wah. Looks a little bit like what we first saw on our calculator, our graphing calculator. Okay, so I hope that helps.